Today is Friday, August 3rd. This is 2018. We're down at John Essex High School in Demopolis off of Highway 80 in Marengo County. And uh, this is a school that's been shut down a few years ago and they boarded up the windows here. And it's interesting because the bees have found the gap in between the plywood and the window in the inside. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a lot of bee traffic. So let me walk around so you can see this. I don't know if you can see the bee traffic with the light contrast, but the bees have taken advantage of this spot here behind the plywood. And the hive is very long, it's, it's a large hive, and it's really cool because it's an observation hive as well. I'm gonna show you that here on the inside, but again, this is where some bees are going in here. We got bees going in up there. But that's the deal. We got dad over there. Hello. Dad's going to join me on this. We're going to knock these bees out. I'm going to take you on the inside and show you what it looks like because this is really interesting. I, I've never seen a feral hive that is also an observation hive. So I'm going to take you inside. All right, we're inside the classroom. And again, the bees are built between the window and the plywood. And it's about an eight inch gap. And look at the comb. Now that is awesome. The bees have attached to the, the window frame. So all of the bees are going to be in between the combs and on the, the plywood side. So whenever we take a piece of plywood, you'll see a lot more bees than what you can see here. Let's give you a look, kind of close up. But up at the top, I count about 17 combs wide. And the hive itself looks like it's a good five, five and a half feet long. Uh, a couple of feet wide. You can see some capped honey in there. You can see inside there. So we're going to take the plywood down, and expose the hive, and try to get some good video. what we got so far. It's the very bottom part of the hive exposed right now. A good bit of cap honey. The bees are really hot. Yeah, I mean hot not aggressive. All Goodness gracious, that's a big hive. That hive's about six foot long. It's like two and a half foot wide. Big old hive.
Look at this hive. This thing is absolutely massive, and the bees up here just unreal. Go all the way up to the ceiling, the top of the window. And I've cut a little bit of honey out. I've got that in my honey container. A lot of capped honey. Look at this. Just beautiful, beautiful honey. And it goes all the way up. All the way up here. But this is just an enormous hive. This is probably the biggest hive I've uh, ever come across. But the bees in here are just massive. Look at that. Somewhere in there is a queen bee. And I'm going to try my best to find her because obviously she is doing her job. She's raised lots of little babies. But all of this over here where you don't see bees, that's all capped honey. And that honey looks really good. It smells good. I'm going to taste it here in a little bit. It's amazing how they found this window. There's no telling how big this hive could have gotten. Uh, this is only a two-year-old hive. Two years they did this. Let's get... I'm still cutting comb. We've cut all honey so far. We got into the brood. See some of the brood right there. And it did go way down there. So what I'm doing now is I'm vacuuming these bees up into my vacuum catch box and looking for the queen there's a lot of bees to go and they're all tucked in between these cones too so it's not like it, this is all the bees there's thousands in, in between all these cones unbelievable how many bees in this hive that queen, she was doing her job. My goodness. I'm going to try to find her. There's so many bees, I don't know if I'll find her this time. We'll see. But typically when you do a hive cut out, the queen will go up towards the top of the hive and the other bees, the workers, will kind of try to protect her. They'll, they'll ball up around her. So usually when you get most of the bees vacuumed up, you can then find the queen. Because this hive's probably got, I mean, it's no telling, tens of thousands of bees. So it would be almost impossible to actually see her unless you get the majority of the bees off the hive first. So she's probably up there somewhere. And it is my goal for the day to find her. We'll see how my eyes are today. <laughs> we are steadily cutting comb out. We've gotten a lot done so far. Still got a lot of there to go. But I just wanted to show this brood pattern. This is unbelievable. This is, uh, Beautiful brood. I mean, this is almost 100% cat brood. You can see that. There we go. Try and get the lighting just right. I mean, this queen, every every comb we pull out is just solid cat brood. And there's eggs and larvae in the little holes that have hatched out. But haven't found the queen yet. We're looking. I think we're going to find her, though. I'm gonna try to. There's a bee. Look out, bee. Mm -hmm. All right. This hive is finished. It took us about four hours. It was a very large hive. Daddy's just finishing up with uh, vacuuming. I'm going to show you what we got. You still see the outline of the comb. This was a massive hive. 
Well, we got uh, just about all the bees. We'll have some field bees coming in and out, some stragglers. But we did catch the queen. Uh, she was in a little nook, and I, I used some bee quick to kind of lure her out of the uh, gap. I couldn't really get to her and put her in a trap and put her in the hive. And I'll release her uh, tonight or tomorrow in that hive. It's just incredible. This thing was enormous. But we got a lot of honey. I mean, uh, I can't tell you how many pounds of honey that's in this container. But this large container, I think it's a uh, 20 gallon maybe. 20 gallon container, it's uh, full to the max. So, I'm going to put the boards back up and call it a day.